Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. We're giving away $1,900 here. Make sure you stick around. Here's your unemployment update for Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Donut? Free donuts? Find out just how much state money has been overpaid in the unemployment claims. Just terrible. What lies ahead for the future of the PUA for Uber and Lyft drivers and other gig workers because life has changed, folks. It's a different world. And the great news of March possible unemployment record with the most jobs added since September. This is awesome. And also how you can get 275 free donuts after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, your business, your life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, we're giving away $1,900 here, cash from my account to your account. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, and comment. It is free. There's no catch. Subscribe, like, comment, and we're giving away $1,900 to a subscriber that puts a comment, random pick, so you can put anything you want there. And when we hit 190,000 subscribers, booyah, $1,900. And we're going to continue to give away money here. Also, down below, grab your Weeble stock, two stocks for free, up to $1,800 when you deposit $100. Please stick around for this video. I know you can get a free donut. I'll tell you how to get it, where to go to look for it. So please stick to the end of the video. I don't, it sounds good right now, right? Wait, don't click off yet. But first, a recent report from the Government Accountability Office. This is the office that called the called the, the numbers on what happened in 2008 with that crash. Well, they found that 6.2 billion in overpayments have been made over the past 12 months for state PUA and UI unemployment programs. This is not the fraud part. This is just they overpaid. They're gonna have to ask for this legitimately, you know, that people ask for it and we're real people, not fraud. They're gonna have to ask for this money back. The report found, quote, states had identified more than 3.6 billion in PUA overpayments for March 20, uh, 2020 through February 2021. In addition, states identified 2.6 billion in regular unemployment insurance overpayments in the last three quarters of 2020. They also stated, quote, overpayments are not necessarily a result of fraud. It's not fraud, folks, though some may be and also explain that the states have the option to either collect these overpayments or <laughs> waive the overpayments and let the people keep their extra unemployment benefits. I, you know, my thought is people have probably spent this money. You're going to have a hard time trying to go get this money back. We're going to spend more money trying to get it. That's just the reality. It, this should be written off as just one of those things. Better systems. Hopefully states will waive the requirements to pay back these vital unemployment benefits. I hope you're not one of them. I know lots of people in the comments have said they've gotten emails saying that they're, the unemployment is asking for money back. It's, it's absolutely crazy, especially if the, it's a result of a glitch or an error by the state unemployment system and can be proven to be legit and not fraud. I don't think people should be penalized, especially if they spent the money thinking they weren't doing anything wrong. It's just like a double whammy, kind of like, uh, you know, trying to dodge the punch of this pandemic while dealing with all this crazy crap. It's like going round and round in a circle and not being able to punch your opponent. It's just absolutely amazing. What can you do? Meanwhile, thanks to the PUA program, gig workers and self-employed Americans will, well, like those drivers for Uber and Lyft, you know, let's just call it like it is, have received $100 billion in unemployment benefits they were not originally eligible for. Remember, Uber didn't pay into this, and the people that worked with Uber didn't. That's part of the benefit of being an independent contractor, 1099. You get to write off your expenses, and guess what? You don't pay the unemployment insurance. Well, I guess you should pay self-employment, but at any rate. But with the government bailing out the popular rideshare services, businesses like Uber and Lyft avoided the traditional expenses of being an employer and put all the blame and responsibilities on workers and the public. So the public siphoned this. 
It's just kind of dual. It's the worker and the company. It's both, you know, but a lot of the media is actually pinpointing like kind of mad at Uber and Lyft, you know, for getting sort of bailed out from the responsibility of having to pay this. You know, Andrew Satner of the Century Foundation explains, quote, they're kind of gotten off scot-free. They have not made any contributions to programs. This forces the question, will the big name like Uber, Lyft, Instacart, Postmates, and DoorDash be responsible for paying unemployment benefits to the PUA is not picked up again in September? Will they have to pay for it? Will I have to come out of their pocket? It kind of changes their whole business model completely. Actually, I don't even know how you could change it. That would change the 1099 and unemployment throughout the entire country. It's not just Uber and Lyft. It's also the guys that drive trucks. All those trucks you see on the road, majority of those guys are working for a trunky company, but they treat them as 1099 workers. FedEx, another 1099. People aren't talking about FedEx because, well, people don't know about that FedEx in a lot of areas is a franchise. You could own one. Senator Ron Weirden aimed to address this issue, stating, quote, with more and more self-employed and giga workers and a critical piece of reform is ensuring that all jobless workers can get benefits regardless of their work history. And I'm not going to point out the elephant in the room, uh, Amazon. Hopefully, the PUA will be extended once again in September, but if it is not, the big names and the gig working and freelance should cover these employees, especially after not paying off PUA funds thanks to the government. Got to figure out some hybrid because, you know, it, it just, it's, it's weird. A whole, a whole employment system is weird. Back in the day with the original constitution, they were only going to tax companies. Now they tax everybody and it's a weird, it's so our system is just weird. Finally, March was a great month for employment as private payroll increased by more than half a million jobs over the past 31 days. Let me say that again. Half a million jobs, folks, up. And yes, the public, I mean, these companies, the payroll companies, it's a real time, baby. So we got it. We got it today. March 31st, the day, so we know the number. This increase of 517,000 positions, 517,000 positions in March is the fastest pace since September and was well above February 700, I mean, uh, 176,000 jobs created back in February. This is fantastic news. The total was just below the Dow Jones estimates of 525,000. So they were close, which was pretty close. I got to give them that one. So, you know, especially when you're estimating, that's, you know, you can't, you're not going to hit the number right on the head. Uh, Nella Richardson, chief economist at uh, ADP, explained, quote, we are continuing to keep a close watch on the hardest hit sectors, but the groundwork is being laid for the further boost in the monthly pace of hiring in the months ahead. This is great news for the U.S. economy and the opportunity for employment across America. And I hope, I hope, I hope that we can get back to full employment sooner rather than later. The predictions right now are summer 2020, well, 2022. And what you guys have all been waiting for, what you've been just dying to hear about, donuts. What about these free donuts? By showing proof of vaccination, Krispy Kremes, will provide you with one free glazed donut per day through December 31st, 2021. That's one free, free donut. I told you here, right now. You can get a donut a day, like an apple a day, which should keep the doctor away. A Krispy Kreme a day will keep the doctor close by. That means 275 days to enjoy the tasty treat after receiving important medical attention and I think Krispy Kremes is going to need a government bailout uh, very soon. And why not make it a twofer? Why doesn't a Krispy Kremes like give you the shot and then hand you a donut? Wouldn't that be cool? They make you sit around for 20 minutes after they take the shot to see if you pass out. I was there on my second shot and they said, no, sit there, Andrew. You know what it's like for me to sit for 20 minutes? Imagine that. If you still have not applied for these unemployment assistance, get off the hump and apply today. 
simply visit the PUA or the UI. It's two separate websites. Upload your employment history, your ID, over-identify yourself. Let them know that you've been out of work due to the thing out there in the CARES Act. You didn't have to explain or show that you were looking for a job, especially with this virus that's out there, right? But be honest and truthful in filling out that application. You can receive a backdated unemployment check for over 20 grand, 22 grand, maybe 23 at this point. People every day look at the video and hear it for the first time. All of a sudden, the wax falls out of their ears and they go, I'm a gig worker. I'm self-employed. I'm a 1099 worker. I have a side hustle. I'm a volunteer. I'm a freelancer. Well, yeah, they created the PUA for you. Yes, you didn't pay into it and you don't know where the office is. That's understandable. But they created a program that'll pay you these amazing government unemployment funds to you. So please keep sharing your experience with the PUA. It helps everybody on this channel and it also enters you the win, the 1900 bucks. And please like the video if you've enjoyed the content. You like the fact that we're ripped through 50 articles and give you the positive stuff. Stuff you can use rather than stuff that just makes you feel bummed. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care. Enjoy your Krispy Kreme. See you on the next video. Take care. Love you.